Craig Barlow at, uh, from Hendricks Greenhouses. Mr. Hendricks, Andrew Hendricks Sr. took over um, the company from his, from his father, uh, bought the farm. Basically, there was two greenhouses that were on the property, on this property, when, uh, when Mr. Hendricks bought the farm off of his father. Um, he started growing uh, tomato plants, was his, was his first crop that they started growing was uh, tomatoes and cucumbers. Um, so they grew those for quite a few years and uh, Mr. Hendricks' um, wife, Helen Hendricks, decided to do, uh, grow some tropical plants in the corner, in the back corner of the greenhouse just to, to try them out and see she, you know, how, they would, how they would grow and how they perform. And so basically her little corner got bigger and bigger as she, uh, she was growing more varieties and more things and then she would arrange them in a, in a container. Um, a lot of it was ceramic containers back, back then and uh, they started selling to, to the uh, local, um, local stores and, and uh, flower shops and that kind of stuff. And then it just started growing from there. And so as just herself making them up, they grew to two or three people making them up and then it basically grew from there. And the square footage of what they did for crew, crew tomatoes kind of turned into growing more indoor tropical plants and then into holiday crops like Easter lilies, mums, and that kind of stuff for, for the Easter and Mother's Day and then grew poinsettias and uh, geraniums for, for, um, for the spring crops. And then as the indoor gardens grew and the, uh, the demand was, was starting to grow more and more, those crops lessened and more tropical plants were added in different varieties and, and different things. And that's where we are today is, is pretty much a 100% uh, tropical uh, plant producer. So in, a, in an indoor garden or also as a value added uh, container with a, a six inch or a four inch tropical plant. That's uh, what we're producing now. I'd say the last 10 years, um, we have been, grow, uh, have been building poly houses. Uh, it's a GGS gutter vented house that we're standing in right now. Um, we started growing on concrete flood floors. Uh, works really well, as you can see. Uh, our, last, our last build that we built this past winter was a, was a uh, open roof, a half open roof greenhouse that we built. And again, we uh, went to GGS and, and uh, and ask them if, if, if it's possible if we can make a, another uh, duplicate what we did with the uh, gutter vented greenhouse and make it a, a, a dry a dry house. We have uh, built other houses. Um, that's an open roof house, and um, we saw that there was you know some improvements that could be made on it. And working with GGS over the years on with the uh, gutter vent gutter vented greenhouse, we knew that it was possible to work with them and try to get uh, duplicate another a nice dry house as well. That's where we are today is uh, for Hendrix greenhouses and also five years ago they bought uh, Freeman Herbs, uh, which is, was an herb company. Tim uh, Freeman was the one that was running that. And um, so he, he uh, approached Hendrix about purchasing uh, Freeman Herbs. And uh, so the family did and, and that is growing uh, very, very well as well. So that's uh, the, uh, the history. And then Mr. Hendrix uh, um, basically you know, uh, had the business turn, be, you know, the, the son started taking over the business and, and uh, Rick and Andrew are, are the uh, owners of Hendricks and Freeman Herbs. So that's where, that's where the history is.